Okay then, I'm joined as we express by Corbs with the old and the new. I wonder who do I start with first? I'm gonna start with, and I hate calling him old, but Mr. Danny Tusitala. He is a bit of a major league rugby legend, my man. How are you doing, brother? And, and actually, just before we start, can you just show us like what hairstyle are you knocking? What are you gonna put up this year in major league rugby? <laughs> I think Show I the fans. Just got to wow. stand in the mullet, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Standing. <laughs> Holy heck, that is yeah. unbelievable. Danny, how are you doing, man? Another year at DC, uh, another preseason for you, brother. How, how's yeah. the body? Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, lucky enough for me, I just got here last week. I ended up running the Bronco on my second day here. So, <laughs> it was a tough one. So, you know, I had to quickly get over that jet lag and now it's good. Um, I know the boys have been working hard for the last five weeks. Um, you know, whole new squad. So, uh, yeah, l l let's just touch on that. And um, before we bring Sam in, I do, I do want to, you know, new head coach Simon Cross, uh, obviously coming across from the UK. Uh, UK. Um, how's he settled in? How are the boys sort of warmed to to working with him? But equally, there's plenty of new faces uh, amongst your group. Yeah, I think I think the boys have warmed up to him really well. I think. Uh, you know, he does drive um, working hard um, for this for this new group. And I think that's the foundation that they've built in the last five five weeks. So, you know, I'm just I'm just here trying to slot in and do my part and, you know, helping uh, develop those that are just joining the squad and, you know, making them feel welcome. So humble, man. We'll get that humbleness out of you at some <laughs> point. Um, talk about another humble person as well. Look, Sam, Sam Goller, Sam, you, you've you only had, I can't believe it, you've only done one year in the MLR, yet it feels like you've been around for such a long time. And what a year it was for you uh, personally last year, getting capped for the Eagles as well in there. Um, how's Dallas? How are the Jackals? Because you've also got a new coach in Nate Osborne, the new attack coach, new players yeah. as well. Um you know how how you guys been settling for preseason? Preseason's been good, um, hot early. You know, <laughs> but you uh, said it's been early, fantastic. Yeah. You know, um, Nate's been great. Him and um, Augustine Kuka, as we call him, they've been getting along great. Uh, it's been a tough tough five weeks. We've ended on a good note, so now we just gotta you know go out there the first week and get a win. You know, <laughs> now, now I I, yeah. I want to get I want to go to you both about it. Like, how important is it that you like? Is it like a relief that preseason is over? Like, are, are you feel like you're ready? Sam, like with you, like, do you feel your body's ready to roll? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have a bunch of time off. I'd say I had about five weeks off from the last tour before I started back up in preseason. Really, so I think getting conditioned to contact, especially in my position, is like the one thing that takes a long time fortunate enough for me you know I, it didn't take too long and i was already pretty much game fit uh from those tours that we did so um i kind of hopped right in now for you danny uh, as a seasoned veteran it must be quite nice having a relatively uh, as you've described short preseason. i know you've been playing as well uh back down in the southern hemisphere but like do you feel ready man i mean like yeah i mean it's uh it's just another year for you isn't it <laughs> yeah, I like you know, I guess I'm always ready and excited to play a bit of code and I think uh body wise, I think, you know, I've still got a couple of weeks till I can get back up there on the field and do a bit of running here and there. So I've got the early morning sessions and then I'm doing the running afterwards. So not too bad. Um I think my off season is probably a little bit different. You know, I've been uh back home and working for the last seven months and spending time with family, which uh, I've been lucky. Uh, you know, I haven't really had that much time with family. And the last, well, I can't, can't remember, but it's been good, like refreshing and just excited to get in amongst the, you know, like the contact and all that and just to hopefully run out there um, and play some footy. Now you'll be sniping around those rucks for another year, sharing <laughs> many a front row, I'm sure, and yeah. the likes of Sam in the back row as well. But Danny, I yeah. want to get an indication from this new DC side because we briefly, briefly talked about it, but there's also someone who's not so new, although... It's been a, he's been away for a few years. Jason Robertson, the fly half, who I know you know well, you partnered with a few years ago. How important is he? Because he was a real strong playmaker in Major League Rugby and also for DC. Is someone like him like really going to be, I guess, paramount for you guys to do well this season? Yeah, I think I think he he brings like pretty much a big part of our game uh, that's been missing for the last couple of years, and I guess that's the kicking side and obviously kicking off the tee, as you know. It's important, and you know, as the game 
evolves, you know, a lot of kicking involved. And, you know, having Jason there with that experience, and, you know, he's got an awesome boot on him. Uh, we nicknamed him the toe when he last was here. So, you know, we've been giving him a bit of, we've been teasing him and calling him the toe, but, you know, he doesn't want to be called the toe. So we're just letting him be. But yeah, we're just excited to have him back in the squad. And, um, you know, he's obviously been away in France, played a bit of top 14. So he's gained a bit of that experience, which is good for him because I think when he was with us, he was quite young. And obviously going away for the last couple of years, come back with a bit of maturity and a bit of knowledge, you know, and a bit of wisdom. So you know, we're excited no. to see him up there. I'm sure as well. You've got to talk about like experience. I'm, I'm looking at Tommaso Boni, obviously. Um, Sam, you'll know him. Got capped as well for the US and centers, but it comes from Italian international experience. There's Rob Harley as well. I mean, an absolute legend yeah. at Glasgow Warriors and also um, the second row playing for Scotland too. It really feels like you've recruited well. Is there an element, you've got Nola goal first game, away from home, difficult. But with the success of last year making that conference um, conference playoff uh, game, do you feel like you guys really are wanting to go for it this year? Yeah, I think we, I think every year we we come together as a cap and we we always want to do better than we did the last year. Obviously, the year before last year we went eleven and zero, so to go to I guess the semi finals or the conference finals, you know, I think that was a massive win for us. But uh, hoping this year we can go one further and with the the group that we have and you know what i've seen over the last week it's been it's been awesome and you know just to see the quality of um like you've said the experience of rob harley and um thomas you know he's a big boy eh? so you know we're looking forward to having them in the midfield pretty handy when you have big midfielders there oh isn't it just as a halfback just give it to them brother just let them let oh. them run let them run straight yeah give it early <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, just hand it off. Although I can't imagine Tutsitala would just be passing. I can see you, brother. I'm sure you're <laughs> st stepping your way around the field. Now, Sam, for, for you, the, the Jackals have built slowly over the last couple of years. Again, with yeah. some of those new signings that are coming in. I remember we caught up um, a few weeks ago at the media day and you said you mm -hmm. felt like the group was so much further ahead this preseason than it had been, frankly, mid last season in the MLR. Can we expect yeah. something, you know, a bit of a surprise in the Jackals? Or actually, is it me being a bit disrespectful saying uh, being a surprise package? Well, I mean, we can't ignore the fact that it was 0-16 the first year of the Jackals and then 2-14 and last year. So, you know, we are aware of you know, the past on top of that, you know, again, there's still a lot of stuff that was set in stone from last year that we've built on for this year. And then there's also been a lot of roster changes, um, coaching changes as well. And, you know, I feel like as far as the preseason went, I thought it was incredibly successful. I think all the boys are getting along great, you know, we're working together. We, and like I said, we basically got through all of our install to the point where we were like halfway through last year. That's what it really to me, that's what it feels like, you know, and like at the at the pace that we're playing it at. So the confidence as well going into um this first game against LA, you know, I think the boys are firing on all cylinders and you know, we're just really excited to play a game pretty much, you know. <laughs> no, I bet I bet it's almost like you've you've all been cooped up a little bit. I, I kind of want to almost yeah. round this off a little bit with a question for you both in that and maybe start with you, Danny, because you've obviously been around the block. I keep saying that as a really like show that you're really old, but you're really not. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, man, it's just catching you up. Yeah, no, no, you're fine. That mullet's bloody looking great and young. Um, I just want to know <laughs> from your experience, like how MLR has developed, like how difficult is this competition yeah. going to be with the new teams coming in, RFC LA, which Sam's going to take on on Sunday. I'm commentating on that, by the way, Sam, so get your niceties uh -huh. in now because I can <laughs> say some good stuff about you. You. But yeah, how, how Danny, how how is how much has this competition developed in your in your time? Oh, I think it's grown massively, and you know the quality of it. it it's exciting rugby, and you know obviously it's a high scoring game, and I think just the physicality has you know gone up a level, and just the um, I guess just the detail in the game. You know, you could see last season you weren't, weren't too sure who was going to make the conference finals or. You know, so, and I think that's what's exciting about the MLR is that, you know, we've got a whole new season, you know. Um, I don't think anyone's backing, backing us to make it to the conference finals after what we had the year before. So, you know, and I think that's the exciting part for, I guess, yourselves, the Dallas Jackals, you know, they could come out and do exactly what we did last season and, 
you know, surprise everyone. And and that's the beauty of the MLI, and that's why I enjoy playing it because you just don't know who's going to win, or you don't know, you know, anyone could be anyone on their day. So, and just um, you know, it's it's awesome to see all these new faces from overseas come in, join the league, and just you know add value. You know, when you do get foreigners from you know some big teams overseas to come and join the MLI, you know, it's, I think it's a win for all of us. Twenty years time, it'll probably be like Japan. You know, we'll be old though, but you know, we'll be excited and just, you know, say we'll be telling our stories. We we are the founders and things like that. So, well, uh, Sam, I'm Sam forward. might be still playing, mate. Don't don't bring him into the conversation. You might be too twenty old, years. But... <laughs> uh, twenty years. Next twenty World years. Cup oh. in America. <laughs> Oh, I feel you completely. But and, and Sam, for you, obviously, this is still relatively new. It's still a bit of a novelty. But like, how brilliant has the MLR been for you and your development? How I guess how much you're looking forward to yourself and and the team developing next this coming season? Yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic. You know, I knew that it was definitely a gateway for me to get into the national team, and um, I saw the talent coming overseas, and I just it was a new opportunity for me to just level up my game. And uh, the players are just great, especially coming from, you know, college American rugby. It's been a huge step up, but it has been fantastic. And I'm so excited to watch it grow and, you know, help influence some college guys to really push towards coming to the league. Cause that's all, all that's going to do is just help it grow in the United States. And that's all I want for the league is to get big and get these young guys excited about it um, so that in years time, 10, 20 years, you know, it's bigger, it's better, it's better. I'm just excited to, you know, continue to make my impact here um, however I can and bring the Jackals to, you know, win some games. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure you will. Yeah. Hey, Danny's even said, like, he can see you guys doing well like the like Old Glory did last year. Hey, look, boys, I appreciate, mm -hmm. I wish we had longer, but I really do appreciate you both coming on two away trips. Obviously, Danny and the uh, Old Glory go to uh, NOLA, and then Sam, you come across to the West Coast uh, to California against LA. Boys, good luck. Stay in touch. Thanks for coming on the Rugby Rundown. Absolutely. Thanks, Will. Cheers. Thank you.